welcome to Tiny Tots Story Time. We're going to talk about some ducks this morning. Mr. Duck means business. <laughs> he looks pretty busy there. He's got this paintbrush and all the animals are watching. He means business. Look at his face. Mm. All business there. Mr. Duck lived by himself at the pond. Each day he followed a tight schedule. And look at all his signs. No trespassing. Don't even think about it. Ducking, and that is all. Keep off the grass. No visitors welcome. Shh. Wow. Can't make friends that way. From 6 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock, he would stretch his wings. From 7 o'clock until 8 o'clock, he would fluff his feathers. At precisely 8.01, he would glide across the perfectly still water. Ah, he said, Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet. I have everything I need. Day after day, week after week, and year after year, everything was the same. And Mr. Duck was very happy. Then, one especially hot summer day, Mr. Duck had just begun his morning gliding when he saw... Look what he sees, boys and girls. What is that? Hmm. Pig? And look what he's doing. He's going to do a big cannonball right into the water. Look out below. Oink, oink, splash. And look at the duck go. <coughs> Mr. Duck sputtered. <clears throat> he muttered. He tail a fluttered. But Pig did not get the message. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Duck was all set to give Pig a strongly worded speech regarding private property when, well, there you are, said Cow. Let's see your moves, called Pig. Jump in. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Duck, said Cow as she plowed past. Moo, moo, splash. Mm. Now, if a pig made a big enough splash to worry the duck, I wonder what kind of splash a big old cow's going to make. Wow. Mr. Duck grumbled. He mumbled, he flip-flop fumbled, but pig and cow did not get the message. Poor duck. <clears throat> Mr. Duck was all set to tell them what's what, when. Hey, said goat, we've been looking all over for you. Anyone up for a game of Marco Polo, called pig. Last one in is a rotten egg, cheat the chick. Come on, Mr. Duck, said Cow. You're it. Now look at all those animals, boys and girls. Now we have a goat and a sheep and a chicken and a horse and all these little chicks. Wow. The water got wild. The scenery got crowded. And the peace and quiet, it was gone. Mr. Duck tapped. He flapped. He totally snapped. Look at his face. He's so mad. Quack! And somebody got the message. Look at all the animals. They stopped. Perhaps we're overstayed our welcome, said Chick. Oh, said the other animals. <clears throat> Out, out, out of my pond, cried Mr. Duck. This time I mean business. <coughs> so sorry, my apologies. Goodbye for good, said Mr. Duck. <coughs> <coughs> sorry to have bothered you, said Chick. Thanks for letting us swim in your pond. Look, there's even a little mouse sitting on top of the horse. <laughs> Alone at last, Mr. Duck returned to his routine. 
he stretched his wings. There was no splashy belly flopping. He fluffed his feathers. There was no annoying water ballet. He glided across the perfectly still water. There was certainly no rowdy round of Marco Polo. Ah, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet, and that's just the way I like it. Hmm. On Monday, quiet. On Tuesday, quiet. On Wednesday, peaceful. On Thursday, very peaceful. On Friday, yawn. On Saturday, Mr. Duck twiddled his feathers, peacefully and quietly, of course. And on Sunday, Mr. Duck had a plan. Hmm, looks like we're making a new sign. Wonder what he's going to say now. These days, Mr. Duck still loves to stretch at six o'clock. He still loves to fluff his feathers at seven o'clock. He still loves to glide across the perfectly still water at precisely 8.01. But sometimes life calls for a little noise. Mm -hmm. So his sign says, noise welcome from two o'clock to four o'clock. He changed his mind. Sometimes people change their minds too, especially with friends. Mm -hmm. So as long as he's making noise with some friends between two and four, his schedule's <laughs> going to be fine. That's Mr. Duck who means business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we thought since Mr. Duck had a routine, he had a schedule, we thought we would talk about your daily schedule. <laughs> So I know everybody has different schedules, but um, for the most part, we do sort of some things in order. Like every morning, you wake up, right? That's sort of the first thing you do. And usually, uh, a little bit after you have woken up, you get something to eat. We call that breakfast. And so we have a picture here of a little girl getting her breakfast. Sometimes it might be cereal. Sometimes it might be pancakes or biscuits and gravy or waffles. You know, breakfast is one of my favorite foods. You get bacon, you get eggs, you get sausage. Oh, so many good things to eat. And so you get breakfast sometime after you've woken up in the morning. Best thing to do after you have eaten something is to brush your teeth. Okay, If you go to the dentist, they will tell you it's very important that you brush your teeth, get all those food particles out, especially if you've had something sugary. So we get up in the morning, we eat, we brush our teeth. Soon after we've brushed our teeth, we need to get dressed. So here is a picture of a closet filled with clothes. So sometimes mommy or daddy may pick out your clothes or you might be lucky enough to be able to go to the closet and pick out your own things and you get dressed. Now after you get dressed, there's usually a long length of time before you would eat again. So sometimes you might play outside, you might play inside, you might watch TV, you might read a book. As you get older, you'll go to school. And so we have a picture here of some play things. You might wanna build some blocks. And after you've played for a while, it's time for lunch. And so here we have a picture of some friends. Looks like they're at school and they're having their school lunch. But if you're at home, mommy might fix you some macaroni and cheese, or she might fix you like pigs in a blanket, or you might just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with some chips. But this is our daily routine, isn't it? So then after lunch, depending on your age, you might take a nap or you might get to play again and you'll go outside and you might play with friends. Um, but you have a long you know, length of time after you've eaten lunch to do something else. And then after you've played again or done your homework, if you're in school, what are we going to do? We're going to eat again, aren't we? It's time for dinner. Most families like to sit around the table and have dinner together. Mom might make some chicken and you might have some mashed potatoes and some beans and maybe some applesauce. So there's a, another time that we eat, don't it? Isn't there? Okay, so then after we've eaten, you might get to play again. You might get to watch some TV in the evening, but. An, most of us, sometime after dinner, we'll take a bath, okay? Or we'll take, older kids might take a shower, but we need to get clean after doing all this stuff during the day. Then, 
my favorite time is after I've got all clean, I grab myself a book and I read. But as a younger kid, if you don't know how to read yet, I bet your mommy will read to you. And then a lot of people love this time of the day, bedtime. Snuggle in with a, with a teddy and get pillows and blankets and curl all up and go to sleep. Then you sleep all night and guess what? <coughs> you get to start all over again. And so that is one daily routine that you might, that you might have. Our routine's a lot different than the duck. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we don't get to jump in the water and play with friends. Not, not too <clears> often <throat> anyway. <clears throat> all right, we have one more story. Just a duck. My good friend Duck, why slink like that? Well, can't you see? I am a cat. <laughs> a cat? But you don't look like me. I will when I grow up. You'll see. <clears throat> I like the way the little duck has his hands on his hips. He's acting so big. <laughs> My ears are still a little small. I don't see any ears at all, said the cat. You don't? <laughs> but then again, you never know. They might just need some time to grow. So I could be a cat? Hooray! Then you and I can play all day. That does sound fun. Come follow me. I'll take you to my favorite tree. Mm. Now, what is a duck going to do with a tree? Oh, that's a pretty tree. So pretty, I could almost purr. Well, yes, it's best for climbing, though. I'll race you to the top. Let's go. <laughs> so look at the little duck. Tries to go up the tree. Oops, he fell down. So here we go. We're going to try it again. We're going to run this time. Flip, flip, flip. Oh, dear. Poor little duck. This really is a shame. I think I'm off my climbing game. Now, now, we climb with claws, you know. Your claws might need some time to grow. Oh, yes, I think they're still too small. Well, that could be a problem. If you want to climb trees, you need claws. I don't see any claws at all. Well, let's find some things we both can do. Hey, there's a lake. Let's play canoe. <laughs> well, now, what about cats and water? No, let's play chase around the trees and bat at leaves upon the... Mm, bat at leaves. Up on the breeze. Oh, there's the cat in the water. Look at his big eyes. He's not sure about this. Don't worry, cat. I'll bring you back. We cats don't like to swim, but quack. <laughs> he loves the water. Poor drippy cat. Are you all right? I'll push you to the shore. Hang on tight. And look, he's on a log, and he's going to push him there. So here we go. And he's pushing. Keep pushing. Look, he rescued him. Got the poor kitty off out of the water and back on land. That was pretty good. My friend, how do you swim like that? Are you some kind of super cat? Alas, I think it's just my luck to be no more than just a duck. <laughs> He's so cute. I like that little duck. No more than just a duck, you say? Why, you're the duck who saved my day. You're a real hero. Don't you see that you are just the duck for me? Oh, cat, you're a real hero, too. If only I could climb like you. But I know what we both can do. The drip dry shimmy shake for two. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> Very cute. Right. Well, you all have a good day. We hope you enjoyed today. Bye-bye. <laughs>